Welcome back everybody, I'm Professor Cliff Seminario. And I'm Professor Juan Serrano. We're gonna be doing blue belt techniques, and the blue belt techniques is all about fluidity, okay? We learned our, our basics and essentials in, blue, in, in orange belt, in purple belt we learned our coordination, and now we're gonna to start to learn fluidity. So each belt we're gonna be learning something new until finally when we're getting the black belt, we're putting everything together into one. Uh, so these techniques you're gonna see a lot of the same, some of the same attacks you've learned on the prior belts, some of the same attacks that are now escalated to a different level, and we're going to be using a few more crossovers, stance changes, different foot maneuvers. So you're going to be a lot of exciting stuff in blue belt. And I've always had it uh, said to me that if you can make it to blue, you can make it to black. That's right. So have fun, guys, and thank you for your support. All right, guys, we're going to do, do wings of silk. The next technique is against the arm grab. Usually what's happening in this scenario is the guy is holding me for his buddies to bust me in the grill. Okay? We don't want that to happen for obvious reasons. Okay? What I'm going to do, the first technique, what, first part of the technique I'm going to do is I'm going to stop with my right foot and I'm going to do a right heel palm or pinch, grab the groin, something to try to wiggle this arm out. You're really just trying to shove it through so you can get it out, okay? But as I do that, instead of, you know, you never just do one thing in Kempo, you're going to, you're going to hit those attack lines. You're going to, if something's there, you're going to go for it. So I stop, bam, I heel palm. I like to heel palm the hip or the thigh. It gets his hips away from me. I don't want his hips into me so that he can pick me up or control me now. If his hips are away in any way, now I can start to wiggle my arms out, okay? So I stomp, boom, heel pump, wham. The same time I do that, I do what's called a wizard. It's an overhook, I just tighten my arm up, like I'm doing a bicep curl and cinch up on that arm, okay? From here, I stomp back the other way. I'm gonna scoop the groin and elbow the jaw, bang, with an obscure elbow. Stepping through, nine o'clock. Step through the reverse. Keep the tight wizard here, break. Crossing out, again. When I say wizard, it's a wrestling move. If the guy, for example, has an underhook on me, that's my overhook. It's called a wizard. Tight. Tight here. If I can get, the underhooks are, are, are prime. But if he's got the underhooks on me, I want to get the overhook at least. I don't want to be here messing around. If I get the knife, if I get something between him, him and me, I can start to force and get it out. So forth. It's just a basic, basic wrestling principle. So, he's got double overhooks on my arms, okay? I stomp. Cinch real tight, heel pump, a lot of things going on at the same time. I stop the other way, bang, and I elbow and scoop. Get my arm out, step through, step back, break, crossing out. Speed. Right. 